eat some avocado toast today. I'm gonna use these English muffins to put the avocado on. Let me see if these are even. Yes, they're perfect. Okay, I'm gonna make avocado toast with these little English muffins. I'm gonna put this in the oven. Wow, I cannot do this with one hand. Good morning, you guys. Okay, so I just put my bread in the oven because I don't have a toaster, so I'm having to use just like the oven, but I'm gonna cut this avocado up and have it ready when the bread gets done. And then I'm also gonna put this whipped um, cream cheese on the toast underneath the avocado. Okay, let me check on this. I feel like it might be, I don't know, I have an embroil. And it just scares me because I never want to get burnt. Like, I have no idea. I guess it's still going strong. I don't know. But I'm going to put this on the bread underneath the avocado. And then I'll put the avocado on top. But I wanted to show you all what I'm going to have to drink with this because it's literally so good. It's this stuff right here. Simply Apple. I have no idea why it's so good, but I'm drinking this warmed up. So I just pour it in a mug and put it in the um, microwave or something. But it doesn't taste like regular apple juice. It's like thicker somehow. I don't know. But this kind's really, really good. If you put it in the microwave and warm it up a little, it's literally the best. Oh. This avocado is perfect y'all this is literally gonna make me cry i have my earth cup that i got from california is this not the cutest little cup i don't think i actually showed this on my channel isn't this so cute it is the best coffee cup coffee mug whatever so i'm gonna pour myself some apple juice i don't know why this stuff just hits different. It tastes like apple cider a little bit. So it's so good. So I'm going to put this in the microwave. gonna go inside because it's a little too cold out here it's 40 degrees and I decided to get out of the house and just walk around outside get some fresh air but I was not expecting it to be this cold I'm also wearing these um, rain boots that I got when I was like in high school and I just think it's so funny that of all the colors I could have gotten I got pink like bright pink but it's kind of funny Oh, it is for crazy. Okay, I want to show y'all my skincare routine. The things that I use to wash my face, moisturize my skin, and just take care of my skin. So, it's no surprise that I love Clinique. I always have loved their skincare products. So, I'm going to show y'all the Clinique products that I use. And just do my full-on skincare routine right now because my skin really needs it. So, I'm going to put my hair up. I always like to put like water on my fingers and slick back these front pieces because I don't like them to get in my way. Also, I look very pale right now. I'm going to do a self tan routine video on my channel very soon. But the first thing that I use, this is just like a little travel size, but it is this Clinique cleanser really any like clinic cleanser will do but this is the all about clean rinse off foaming cleanser mousse so i like to use this and honestly a little goes a long way i literally use like this much very very small amount i will just put my fingers under the water and 
just get a little bit of water on my hands and do y'all see like how far that little tiny amount went it's crazy it's like you really only need a little but i just washed my whole face specifically getting the t-zone area my forehead just because that's where my problem areas are get my neck just gonna get a damp cloth and wipe my face off do y'all see how crazy my hair is how brown it is I really need to make an appointment to get my hair done. Just gently wipe off my face and my neck. And now I use my toner. So this is the toner I use. It is just the clarifying lotion. It's in the number two. I know they have this toner in, I think three um, numbers are like three skin types. I think they have an oily, a dry, and a medium. And this is the uh, dry combination. So I just take a cotton ball, I put some toner on it, and then I will, whoops, then I will just put this all over my face, all over my neck. And toner just, I don't even know, like, what it does other than just like brightens your skin and it also takes out like excess oils or excess dirt that you may have missed i don't know i just cannot live without toner i love it and it also just makes sure your skin feels so good it just like awakens it or something i don't even know it just feels so good So I really hit the T's on because I don't want to be oily in those areas. My problem areas. Earth break. Okay, after I have washed and put toner on my face, then I'll go in with a moisturizer. This is literally an OG. I love this one. It's the Clinique Moisture Surge. Yeah. Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator. It's so so good. It makes your skin literally feel like velvet. I don't know. Clinique's um lotions just they just do something, but you don't need to use like too much because it is really expensive. I mean that's how I am at least. I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna use this, I need to like just use a little dot, but honestly, a little goes a long way, so. And I always do my neck. That is very, very important. Usually, this is where I would be done with my skincare routine, just cleanser, toner, uh, lotion. But I also have this. It's a little tiny baby. It's so cute. Um, it's the moisture surge for your eyes. So it's like a little eye gel. I'm just gonna use a little tiny thing of it about like this much. And I'm gonna put it underneath my eyes. And on top of my eyes. Cause I feel like your eyes are such sensitive skin because it's so thin right there. So this is the last step, I need to get a bigger um, bottle of this because this is actually really good. And I really like the gel as opposed to like an eye cream just because I don't really know why. I just really like how it feels. It feels very good. So that is it for the skincare routine. All fresh and clean. I just want to share my skincare routine with y'all because I love watching skincare routines. Also, I have this um, Moisture Surge Overnight Mask by Clinique. And this is really good if you put on at night and sleep in this, especially if your skin's really dry. Because this is a very, very thick moisturizer. And... It's like an overnight mask, but it's just a really thick cream. So this like could really put a lot of moisture back in your face. Oh, and I want to show you all this too. I freaking love this stuff. It is Lip Repair Cooling Relief All Day by O'Keefe's. This is what it looks like. 
this feels so good if y'all have seen my accutane video or if any of y'all are currently on accutane i filmed this stuff recently and i feel like this would be like the best for accutane or like accutane lips because your lips get really really dry um but o'keefe's like the brand o'keefe's is so good i use it on my feet y'all know i have psoriasis on my feet really bad and i use this brand on my feet and it's so good and i don't know something about this lip stuff it feels like there's nothing on your lips but at the same time it feels like your lips are hydrated without being like like caked on a bunch of like aquaphor or something so i really like this stuff mm -hmm. 